Welcome back, everybody. This is Excel Video 470, and I'm Nate Moore. I helped a group this week that said, hey, Nate, we've got to export all of our medication data that's in our EHR and get it into another software package. Can you help us? And we were able to go in to SQL Server, grab the data that they needed, get it in an easy to understand and validate and use format, and they're on their way. If you're frustrated with data trapped inside your EHR, I'd love to help you. Simple video today. We've talked on and off about how to get data into a chart. I want to give you three quick shortcuts today to get data out of a chart, to remove data from a chart. And before I get to the three shortcuts, in Excel 2013, I'm only going to remove data from a chart that I never, ever, 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 ever want to chart again because it's so easy to filter. It's so easy to just come here and say, I don't want to see payments in this chart and apply and I'm done that I'm hard pressed to delete stuff unless I really don't need it. One more caveat is if I never, ever, ever am going to use refunds, another way to get this off the chart that is obviously just to delete, the challenge is Excel gets all worked up when it looks for things on a chart that you've deleted. I see that error message and sometimes it persists. So what to do is to filter. What not to do is just to delete the data without getting it off the chart off the chart first. That said, three ways to remove data from the chart. Easy way, I don't want refunds anymore. Highlight that series. See, I haven't highlighted the whole chart or I'm highlighting a specific series and this is the series I want. Delete and it's gone. It's off the chart. It's still on my spreadsheet and now if I were to do this, everything doesn't blow up. Let me control Z and undo to get back. So first way is to select and delete. Second way, I'm going to click inside the chart and Excel will highlight over here for me my chart area and I could always do something like this and take refunds off that way as well. By simply dragging the chart area, refunds are on and off. That works if refunds, if the one, the chart series you want to remove is at the far right of your data. If you wanted to remove adjustments instead, another thing to do is to come over here and our third tip is click inside the chart design, select data, I never ever want to see adjustments, I can come here and remove it. I could filter it out or I can remove it and get it off my chart. So that quick and easy, that's what I wanted to show you today about deleting data from a chart. Again, filter if you can and don't delete the data until you get it off the chart. Stay tuned, I've got more charting tips coming. Thanks for watching.